guys welcome again to my channel so in today's video I'm showing you how I create this look using the Morphe M palette now this is the first time that I'm using this palette and um, I create the look um, as I was doing the tutorial so I actually chose the colors on the fly um, if you'd like to see how I create it then uh, keep on watching and don't forget if you're new to my channel uh, please hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you will not miss an upload from me so without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so I have already moisturized my face so now I'm going to prime and I'm using the <clears throat> excuse me Maybelline baby skin primer this is a gel primer and said it's supposed to help fill in the pores and since I have really large pores let's see what that does for me so this primer the Reb Revlon Revlon Pro of oh, Revlon Photo Ready um, Brightening Primer. Now, this primer, um, I was told that it acts like um, you know how people used to use the um, milk of magnesia on their face, and so this basically gives you that same illusion. Go ahead and um, add some powder to my face and I'm using my Maybelline fit me loose powder finishing powder and this is in deep 35 okay so the brows are done moving on to foundation and today I am using my covergirl uh, true blend matte made foundation and this is in the shade d50 
Okay, so now while that is baking and everything, I'm going to get into my Morphe M palette. Yoohoo! And here are the gorgeous colors, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, so we are going to do purple today. Mm -hmm. All right, we're just gonna venture out. So let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna use this color right here as my transition shade. So first I'm just tapping it to pack it on and then I go in circular motion just to blend and then when she wipe her mood and I do a combination of circular motion and when she'll wipe her mood just like that awesome so now Hmm, which shade should I go for next? Hmm. So we're gonna go for this shade right here. Just like that. What do you guys think? Yep. So now we're gonna deepen up the crease a little bit more. So I'm taking this random brush. This was from Coastal Scents. And I'm gonna dip into this darker purple shade right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this purple right here and we're gonna put it all over the lid and I'm gonna use my finger So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same um, deeper purple and I'm gonna bring it down to um, my lower lash line. Cleaning off the brush and um, the same color that I have on my lid I'm gonna go ahead and you know get that same color and I'm gonna smoke out the bottom
tore my face. I'm gonna get back to the eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the face and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, sorry. Um, I went ahead and um, lined my eyelids and finish up the face. Now the blush that I'm using is the Milani Fantastic Mauve. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And then, um, my, I'm gonna line my lip with um, Max Moth, Night Moth. Um, wet and wild mauve out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes. Now these lashes I got from AliExpress, they are bomb.com you guys. They are the mink lashes. And I'm gonna turn this over so I can see what I'm doing. Pop it on as close to the lash line as possible. Like that, and I'm gonna pinch it together. love them I love them they're pretty oh my gosh you guys I'm gonna get me some more of these Aliexpress lashes because they are on fleek oh yeah all right so what I'm gonna do next is I am going to pop a little color up here and in the tear duct area, I'm gonna, this uh, peachy color right here, I'm just gonna go ahead, get some on my brush, and I am going to add that up here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Just to highlight my brow bone. basically blending it 
blend 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 is your um, blend for your life as they would say blend is your best friend So we're gonna just use the first brush and uh, not add any products on it. Just use that to just kind of blend everything together. Make sure it's nice and blended. Like that. All right. So we're gonna add a little bit of that now to the tear duct area just to give it a little actually I'm gonna try this the I'm gonna venture out I'm gonna try this pretty little um, color right here just in the tear duct area just to see what that looked like Um, Morphe setting spray and I'm gonna set everything So yeah, this is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, do my hair, and I'll be right back to show you the final look, guys. Hope you guys like it. Be back in a flash. So yeah, guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I had fun making this video. I hope you guys um, enjoy it as much as I did making it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.